Christine. I don't know if you can tell it's a little bit later in the morning than I normally court record videos because normally it's about, I don't know, 4.30 and I don't think I sound very energetic, but it's about 7.30, so I sound a little more energetic today. Um, I don't have to start working for a little bit later. So here's my here's my uh, plan today. Let me actually start with the layout. Inspiration here. Um, it's by Cassie Wiss Carson, who I have, I know I have struggled with this person many times here and uh, she's just so talented. And I actually picked this layout and I'll show you why in just a second. Um, it's got kind of this like painted line looking background with a little square, a couple photos and embellishment clusters with a couple of fishtail painters behind all that. Um, what I did is I was, I've been going through, I'm going to do a video. I don't know when I'm going to post it. So if you've seen it before this, then great. If not, well, okay, it is what it is. Um, I've been going through, I have a bunch of paper trays over here and I've got like these kind of little scraggly bits of collections left. So I'm thinking I want to clean I'm just going through and stash bashing the last bits of layout. So this was, uh, or it is Bella Boulevard's Mom Life. I had actually gotten as a little mini collection, I think at Tuesday morning. So there's not tons of papers anyway. I had still some of these left, so I still got to keep working on it. But I pulled out, this was in here, and that kind of looks like that layout that she, or the background that she had. So I'm thinking, okay, I can use this. And then I'm thinking for my little square, because here's my picture. It was my daughter. It was at her little best friend's uh, Sweet 16. So this has been... Oh my gosh, seven, eight years ago now? Can't believe that. Anyway, Sweet 16, and these colors are so good. They go with this, this is what struck me. With this, it kind of, it looks to me like this goes real well. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use that as the little square here. Um, I may use this as the background. I need to kind of think on it. I'm not sure yet. I have to look. Um, and then this, I can do the fishtail banners out of you know some of these little stripes that are on this page, which is the back side of that stripe there. So I'm gonna probably cut those up for the fishtail banners. So that's my thinking. And then I did, I didn't have any more embellishments. I've used, I say that, I'm pretty sure I got a sticker sheet somewhere. I don't remember where, but if I'm honest, it had all like momish stuff. And I think I've used all the non momish stuff. So I went into my stash and I have a bunch of little things. These are kind of in the color palette or there's pieces of it that are. Um, there's this, imagine that, Echo Parks, imagine that. And I had three of those, so I'm thinking, okay, I might can use, I don't know yet. It's It's got little clusters of stuff, so I'll kind of go through here and see what I might can use. Um, I have this this thickers here, which I think is a Vicki Booten collection pad, uh, to go with. And this looks kind of like a party to me, and this is a Sweet 16, so I may try to use it. There's nothing on the sketch that would in indicate this type of deal here, but I might still use it. Of course, there's a little flower, a couple little things here. And I like this a lot too, so I might end up using this at the bottom. Uh, I have there's some puppy stickers here. There's a camera, and again, this is kind of in that palette, which is why I'm pulling it out. So I haven't, I don't know which of these things I might use. We'll just see. Um, this is a few little labels, so I might end up using that just to put stuff on. Then um, this here is also uh, Vicky Bootney stuff, and it's got these hearts. Is why I'm kind of picking this, and then plus like some gold accents because I think what I'm going to make the title be is pretty memories or something like that because I think those will look kind of cute with this stuff. So that is the plan. Let me get my base started and then we will come back on camera. I'll speed it up and all good things. Okay, talk soon. Okay, so I've already done this off camera, but the first thing I did was cut that floral down to, I know it's eight inches wide. I believe it's seven inches tall. And uh, so I did that first. And then what I'm going to do here now on the sketch, I'll, I'll just say this on the sketch, she used a border punch on the top and bottom. I don't do that because I got a little bit scared. I didn't give myself enough room <laughs> and I was actually kind of right. So I'm glad I didn't do it. Uh, the next thing I'm doing though, is I'm taking the, uh, the thing with the little horizontal pattern strips, which is the back side of that little blue painted paper, or, or I say painted, the blue lines that are kind of painted looking. It's the back side of that. And I go ahead and I cut the strips and I'm kind of looking to see, okay, which one of these makes the most sense for this horizontal fishtail banner stuff. And I started with the gray one with polka dots and I changed my mind. I really like these pineapples. And I think the reason behind the pineapple, the, the reason it really struck me, number one, there's two reasons. Number one uh, is a little meme that talks about, you know, be like a pineapple, sweet on the inside, you know, stand tall, wear a crown, whatever. That's really cute. It's kind of, you know, I just like it. I think it's a cute little meme or whatever, or phrase or quote, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know whoever said it, but anyway, I like that. And then the other reason is because there's kind of this little variety of pineapples, and I just thought this, the picture of the girls, they're just all so different. 
uh, you know, their dress is all different. All the girls just kind of look different. They're just, it's just a cute picture of a bunch of different girls. And I thought the pineapples kind of, you know, alluded to that or made an homage to that. So I like that. So anyway, I cut the, cut these little fishtail banners. Um, I just do the little trick where you fold it in half, you know, not like where it's creased necessarily, but you kind of fold it over in half, take your scissors and cut the little fishtail. Now I set that I don't actually end up using that gray polka dot up there, the thicker one. I do use the thinner, like white, it's white background with gray dots on it. I do end up using that. So the ones you see right now are the fishtails I, I end up using, except that one that I cut that's that gray polka dot up there. I don't end up using that one. So um, now I'm just going to go and do the other side. And what I do is I trim down the length. Um, you can't see because I'm off camera, but I'll trim down the length a little bit. And then I'll just basically flip the edges together so I can have the same uh, I don't know, what do you want to call that? Same like depth or angles or whatever on the fishtail. So they are, you know, mirror each other basically. And I'll go ahead and do those three fishtail banners and get that ready. Now I'm going to tell you, I fuss around just a little bit trying to get these just right, which is just silliness, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard, but I hadn't even glued down the little piece of paper, the floral paper yet. So that's probably why I was having some troubles. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm kind of silly. And then the other thing I need to do, and I don't think I've I don't know when I do this, to be honest with you. I don't remember now, but I ended up putting the photograph on that black diamond background paper you see at the very top up there. In the sketch, she did have the photo. She actually had two photos, and they were on a darker background, I think it was. Um, she actually had, I think, even maybe some journaling cards or something behind them, just additional little mat. I don't end up doing that. Mine stays just basically... It's kind of double matted because the photo itself has a white border. So you can imagine that's a border and then imagine the black is the second border. And that's just what I do. I don't do any additional mats. And oh my gosh, y'all, I got to tell you, foam girl here didn't use a single piece of foam tape. I didn't. I couldn't believe, I started looking at the layout after I was done. I was going, oh, Christine, you didn't use any foam tape. I didn't. Uh, the the title is, you know, foam letters. And so, okay, that's got some dimension. And I have some chipboard stuff, but I didn't use any foam tape, y'all. Is that not shocking? It's shocking to me. I didn't even think about it until after I did it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't use any. So here's why I'm going to go and cut this photo mat. I was just measuring the picture there. It's a four by six, but I, I wanted to make sure because it with that little white border, for some reason, just mentally, it looked a little bit bigger, but it's not. It's just a four by six. So I trimmed down the um, the photo mat there and I don't go all the way through. Sometimes I'll cut all the way across, make stripes or whatever, but I don't do that because I still have this little bit of paper left. I need to make one more layout, <laughs> at least one more. I need to use this paper up. I'm trying to get through this collection because I have a few new ones that's arrived and I need to start using them, but I don't want to start using them until I've used up some of this older. So then I think about that border punch, and I know I go, no, you're not going to be able to do that because you don't trend this to this length here, and I'm a pretty certain I didn't give myself enough room for the title. So I just decided to use my fingernail and kind of rough it up the edges a little bit. And like I said, I'm really glad I did that because in, in the end, I didn't really give myself enough room to do a full-on border punch because a border punch will take out you know, a quarter to a half inch at least of your papers, and I would have ended up too small, and I would have been upset. So I'm really glad I didn't do it. So here, here's a little trick I'll tell you. So if you have these letters, these uh, foil, these foil letters, they're, they're usually gold or silver. Um, if you try to peel them up, nine times out of ten you're going to bend it, and you end up with a little wrinkle in your letter, and it's kind of, it's kind of sad. It makes me sad when I do it. Sometimes I forget to peel from the back. Uh, so that's what I started to tell you was that if you, their little trick is to peel the paper back from the letter. And if you do that, you have a little better shot of not wrinkling it. Of course, then I'm struggling with it. Cause I'm like, okay, where do I want this thing to go from a height standpoint? Because the title pretty is bigger than the title memories that I'm going to end up using in a minute. And I need to give myself the right height. So I had to kind of mess with that. And then I start thinking, oh, this is crooked. And <laughs> I got to get my T square out and I got to fix that. Of course, my head's all up in there. Um, and then I'm trying to pull this up, y'all, and it sticks. <laughs> I know it's supposed to stick, but many times, you know, you can, sh you know, shift things around just a little bit. So I get that square, and now I've got to get this uh, little set of fishtail banners here squared up, and that's working out pretty good. I mean, I have to kind of fast with it just a second, but then I realize, oh, I don't have no glue down there. So I got to glue all that down. Sometimes, you know, when I'm dry fitting these, I say dry fit, I'll put a little bit of adhesive just so I can at least get it to stay in place when I'm messing with it, but then it gets crooked if I'm not careful. <laughs> oh, anyways, that's okay. Okay, now I've got this picture. Um, I still hadn't glued it down, and I, I don't know why I hadn't glued it down. Well, yes, I do, because I'm trying to get the title in the right spot, and I thought, well, you might as well glue it down because you know that's about where you're going to put it. So I go ahead and glue my picture down here, and then I can start doing the title. <laughs> 
just, I kind of got out of order on this. Th I don't know if I got out of order. That's not the right way to say it. I was fiddle farting around with this thing. Uh, I felt like, honestly, my hands were kind of shaking. I felt a little bit uh, anxious or something. I don't really know. No real good reason. It's a Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday. That's a good day. All right, so I've got pretty down there. And really, it's kind of a play on words in a sense because I thought the girls were really pretty. So I've got pretty and then, of course, memories. So it's kind of like pretty memories, but it's also, you know, the girls are pretty and I don't know. It's just kind of a whole thing. Um, I do have the, I have to put my, this little title here is that like enamel dot feeling stuff. And I do have to shift it over a little bit here and there. I want it kind of centered up because on the sketch, and I do add some stuff, uh, there's like a little stripe of pattern paper or, or something. I can't tell what she's got, but it looks a little bit like pattern paper, but I end up using a chipboard sticker on either side of the word memories. And I like how that turns out too. I really like how this layout actually does turn out. It's real colorful and fun. Uh, and it is a party. So that, I was kind of glad of that. Now, on the sketch, she had a little upper right hand little cluster of papers or like little tag, not tags, because it's not like an actual tag with a hole and all that, but just like paper pieces that poke up. And then on the lower left, she has little paper pieces that poke up. Now, I do a very similar style in the sense like I have two of them that are just kind of square, but then I had some pre-punched circles sitting on my desk here out of these papers. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use these darn circles. They're just sitting here. And I thought it looked kind of cool when I added the circle. So I'm going to put these two... Uh, like geometric si uh, ones or square ones. And then I find these two yellow circles and I really like these. I thought that looked kind of cool. I was happy with that. It's a little different than the sketch, but in the end, I, I think it looks, it looks nice. So then I decided I have to kind of fuss with this little thing here again some more. And I got to fix up my little edges here. I just want to rough them up just a little bit more. I do need to start getting into my embellishments though, because now I need to start figuring out, okay, what little goodies do I got to put on here? Well, as usual, I hadn't glued down the paper, so I got to glue down the paper first. But in a second, I'm going to get into my little uh, ephemeras and stuff. And I go through, uh, I think I start with the Vicky Booten chipboard piece because I do decide, like I said, um, on a little uh, border chipboard thing and I cut it up. I hope I'm not sad later that I did it. I don't think I will be because it's useful here. <laughs> Sometimes you ever do that, like you think, oh, I'm going to use this here. And then you think, oh, am I going to be sad? I, I needed that later for that same collection or something. But I did look at this label. Uh, I thought about using the labels, and I didn't decide I had anywhere to put it. I, I already had the clusters kind of built with the, the little circle and the, and the square pieces there. So I decided I didn't want to use it. But this is where I'm picking out this chipboard piece. And it's got these little hearts on it, and it does have a gold accent, a little foiling. Um, there was another sticker that I'll look at in a minute. It's a little disco ball and I thought about using it, but it was in silver and I didn't want to introduce any silver because I have gold going all over the place. Well, at the moment it's in the title and then I'm adding this little chipboard piece with these little gold foils and I go, okay, I don't want to really add any silver because the gold's looking pretty good. So I put that back together. Um, I do find a little piece that says, uh, right now it's like a little pink arrow there that has a little gold foiling on it. I like that. And I'll pull that off and set that on the right-hand side. She did have some additional little words and stuff kind of sprinkled around. I stick it there, but it comes down actually later. Uh, I don't keep that at that height. It comes down on the picture a little bit. Then I find this thing here. It says, yes, girl, yes. And I kind of like that because it's real like colloquial, I guess, <laughs> for, you know, and it's, you know, again, it's teenage girls. So I end up sticking that there. And that's why I end up bringing that arrow down because I did not want them opposite each other. That was going to look stupid. So brought the arrow down because I put that phrase right up there. Then I'm going through my puffies and I pull off the camera here. I do like the little camera with a little heart center. I guess, what is that? A lens maybe. And, um, I find that. And then I find, do I find anything else on that particular thing? I don't think I do now that I, now that I'm looking at the layout here on my desk. Oh, uh, no, I pull that off. So this says something like, um, Better together or something, I think, or together again. That's what it is. And I end up, I start there, but then I think that looks goofy because the other fishtail banners are posted, you know, facing the other direction. And I stuck that up there, and that's facing the wrong direction. I go, nope, can't use that. They don't look right. So I try another little. I try three or four different things, and just none of them look right. So the only thing that ends up on there is my camera that gets put aside. Now I get into this chipboard stuff that's this imagine, and I thought I would use more of this as well. And I don't. <laughs> I end up using just the balloons. I find these little balloons. And again, it's a party. So I go, that looks good. I like that. And it has the good colors. And I stick that there. And I keep looking and I find nothing else. <laughs> nothing else in all of this stuff. I couldn't believe it. All right. So now I'm into my little um, Vicky Booten 
I don't know what you call this. It's like rubber puffies or they're puffy sticker stuff, but it's like rubber. And I end up finding um, hearts at Butterfly there. I found a couple little butterflies and I'll kind of sprinkle these around a little bit. Uh, that little green, was it tone on tone, kind of a blue greenish um, color. And then I find the, oh gosh, what is it? I find hearts. I find like a little gold heart. I found another little, I found three gold hearts. And I end up pulling those off and putting those around. And then I find an arrow, like a swirly arrow. And I put that next to pretty, but I won't do that for just a second, I don't think. I do find these other little hearts. I like this. I think this kind of looked neat. It's just bringing those little pieces of gold kind of around, creating my little visual triangle. So yeah, I got my little heart going on up there. And then I'm going to end up in a minute, I have to pull out my tweezers because I start trying to use these tiny little dots. There's all these great little dots. Um, this is my little gold foil heart. Gold foil heart. Say that three times in a row. And um, I end up coming in here and finding, like I said, I decide I'm going to pull out these little dots. And I start pulling on them. Oh, wait, this is where I got the little arrow. I like this little swirly arrow. It's kind of, I stick it up next to pretty, just kind of pointing at the girls. And I, that's when I'm kind of looking around again, and I'm thinking, okay, I want to add a little something, something. And I see these little, well, I guess I'm going to fast with that balloon for a second. I see the little dots, and where is my, I don't guess I pulled up my tweezers yet. I start using my fingers first, thinking, okay, I'll just use my fingers and pull it off and set it down there. And I have got just, I'm not going to call them man hands, but I don't exactly have the most delicate fingers, that's for sure. So I decided to get out my tweezers. <laughs> a little easier to use those to pull those little guys off of there. And I'll just put a cluster of three in each of my little um, clusters. I guess if you want to use the word cluster again. And I get a cluster of three of these little colors in each of them. And I think that looks really cute. I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yep, I'm just going to set that around. And that's all at this point. I thought about, again, sprinkling some ink or this or that. And then I decided, nope, you got your little dots on there. And there is just no reason to do nothing else to this little thing. So I'll kind of look again, and then in a second, I'll cut over to slow it down so I can show you guys up close. But that's the layout. I was really happy with this. I thought it turned out so pretty. I've, all, I've cleaned up my mess a little bit, so it's not so distracting. I'm going to slow it down so you can see it. You can see the dimensions, but yeah, I use no foam, y'all. No foam tape. Can you believe it? I think that's the first one. I, 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 I have to go back and look, but I don't think there's been another layout one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and all the good stuff, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.